I'm going to show today is how to use patterning as a melodic step sequencer. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is go into our MIDI setup, and I'm just going to show it on two channels right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the two channels. I will go and specify this as channel one, and then I will specify this as channel two, and I'm going to go ahead and start them both on uh, C4 as far as our root note. Um, one of the f uh, things that you'll want to do is this course tuning. Turn that on for both uh, sequences and hit done. And what we'll do next is go over to Audio Bus. I already have two instances of Xeon established. And then what we want to do is add the MIDI flow adapter to both of them. And then when we open it up, we basically specify channel one, channel two. Go back here. And one of the things that I like to do here is go ahead and just uh, lock it to a specific scale on both of these channels. And I'll well, just pick E. Actually, let's just leave on C. And let's go to Dorian. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, let's see. And Dorian. All right, so we're all set up. So that's channel one, channel two. Go back to patterning and go in here. Go to MIDI channel one, select MIDI flow adapter one. Oops, oh, go back, go to channel two. Instead of patterning, MIDI flow adapter two. Okay, so now when we go in here, I'm just going to turn off the uh, sound of the drums for these two channels. We'll turn those on later. Um, okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit play. And just... So I've got the default sounds. Um, but if I go over here to the pencil and go course tuning, I can adjust my notes. Just change it. Go pick one of these nice little Bryce instrument patches. Okay, I'm not sure how that's going to sound until we go back to patterning. Okay, go back to velocity. Okay, go to course tuning. One of the cool things is it's got probability built in, so we can go and adjust that. Have that high probability, high probability, low, medium, low, high, high, medium. Okay, and then go to the first drum kit, adjust the probabilities here. And one of the other cool things is that you can go to the actual step mode here. And let's say that I want to get kind of crazy. So you can start playing around with this stuff. You can adjust the number of steps. All the way up to, I believe, 64. Let's go back down to 16. Okay, that's a little weird, so we're gonna go back to the pencil and just adjust the probability, increase the probability of these notes actually firing. So that's essentially the gist of it. So the big thing to do here is within your MIDI setup, you pick your channels, and then within the MIDI port, uh, once you set up the MIDI flow adapter, you then specify where it's gonna go. And then here, you have all these other parameters that are uh, MIDI assignable. Um, so you could you know, filter the cutoff, or you could uh, adjust the uh, filter cutoff here if you wanted to as well. 
that just takes a little bit of time to set up. Um, and then you specify uh, which channel it's going to use here, and then you pick it over there. Um, and that's essentially the gist of it. And so you've got a melodic sequencer here uh, based on course tuning, and you can adjust it. And hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.